Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord for another beautiful moment. We thank the name of the Lord for his mercy. We glorify the Lord for his wonders. We thank the Lord for making it possible for us to see another beautiful day. Today is the 11th day of the month of July, year 2023. Beloved, wherever you are, I want you to appreciate the Lord. I want you to bless his name. I want you to glorify the Lord. Our God is awesome. Our God is great. Our God is mighty. He has protected our life. He has guided. He has shielded our life. He has done great work. I we need to appreciate him. He has been the one that has been all of our life, guiding us, protecting us, fighting for us. We need to lift up the name of the Lord. Please, 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 please worship the Lord, glorify the Lord, adore his name. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we magnify you. You are worthy of all praise. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be lifted up. You are the awesome God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Beloved, if you are joining this program for the first time, this is High Voltage Prayer Program. God has been using High Voltage Prayer Program to perform wonders in the life of people. A mighty mighty wonders a lot of testimony have gotten back to us of the great hand of god as people pray i will thank the lord for what god has revealed to many many people deep deep revelation and this has helped us to pray and pray accurate prayer we thank the lord for all this we pray that god will continue to help us to uphold us to strengthen us and also to take us to the next level of our destiny in the mighty name of jesus christ beloved the program of today is going to cover two days meaning you are going to pray this prayer for two days 11th day and the 12th day so make sure you devote your time at least spend five minutes on each of these prayers and you pray them very very well five minutes on each of these prayers and you will see what god will do mighty wonders of god will be re revealed to you you will see the power of god in your life and you will give God the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere you are, just take a song you love and bless the Lord with it. And worship the Lord with it and appreciate the Lord with it. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Thank you, Father. Our Father, our Father, who hath in heaven. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Our Father, our Father, who hath in heaven. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Be thy name, O Lord. Hallowed be thy name. Be thy name, O Lord. Hallowed be thy name. Beloved, I want you to wear the garment of a warrior. Get ready to pray as we enter the prayer arena. The more you pray, the more you discover. The more you discover, the more you recover. And the more you recover, the more you possess your possession. And the more you possess your possession, the more you manifest gloriously. It is time for us to pray. And I want you to pray aggressively. Open your mouth and say, Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, envelope my life and every member of my family in Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, my father, arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, arise and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my father, arise and fight for me in Jesus name we pray say powers that have redesigned my destiny for evil ah, in the name of Jesus powers that have redesigned my destiny for evil ah, in the name of Jesus powers that have redesigned my destiny for evil die by fire die by fire 
In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I break the power of witchcraft. I break the power of witchcraft spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft spirit over my life. In Jesus' name, pray. Say, I break the power of occultic spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of occultic spirit over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of occultic spirit over my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, any eating covenant. Any eating covenant that I do not know anything about and is troubling my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Any eating covenant I do not know anything about and is troubling my life. Break, 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 break in the name of Jesus. Any eating covenant I do not know anything about and is troubling my life. Break. Break, break in the name of Jesus. Any eating covenant that I do not know anything about and is troubling my life. Break, break in the name of Jesus. Any eating covenant I do not know anything about and is troubling my life. Break, break in Jesus' name. We pray. Say every weakness of my father's house. Lose your hold over my life in the name of Jesus. Every weakness of my father's house. Lose your hold over my life in the name of Jesus. Every weakness of my father's house. Lose your hold over my life. Lose your hold over my life in Jesus' name. We pray. Say any power, any power, consulting abalis against my star, run mad in the name of Jesus. Any power, consulting abalis against my star, run mad. In the name of Jesus, any power consulting abalis against my star, run mad. In the name of Jesus, any power consulting abalis against my star, run mad. In Jesus' name, pray every satanic prophecy against my destiny be nullified. In the name of Jesus, every satanic prophecy against my destiny be nullified. In the name of Jesus, every satanic prophecy. Against my destiny, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say every evil image, calf in my name, cast fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil image, carved in my name, cast fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil image, calf in my name, cast fire, cast fire. In Jesus' name we pray. With a louder cry, you say, the voice of the enemy will not prevail over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the enemy will not prevail over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the enemy will not prevail over my destiny. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the enemy will not prevail over my destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, every power Planting affliction into my life in the dream. Da! In the name of Jesus. Every power. Planting affliction into my life in the dream. Da! In the name of Jesus. Every power. Planting affliction into my life in the dream. Da! In the name of Jesus. Every power. Planting affliction into my life in the dream. Da! In Jesus' name we pray. Now I want you to get a bottle of oil. If you don't have get a bottle of water, you can get you can get either of them or you get both of them. Father, we thank you for the bottle of oil and the bottle of water in the hand of your children. I speak prophetically into this water and the oil. I command them now to become an instrument of deliverance. The blood of Jesus shall flow into the oil. The blood of Jesus shall flow into that water. This water and the oil shall become instrument of healing, instrument to break the yoke of darkness. The power of God will enter into the oil and the water. In Jesus' name we pray. Drink a little of the water now. Aha. Now we are going to the area that we have started a few days ago. Back to your root. And I've given you seven prayer points to pray. Many people have prayed that prayer. A lot of them have gotten back to us with a very deep, shocking revelation. <laughs> And like I told you, the more you pray, the more you discover. It is when you discover you can recover. When you discover deep secrets about your life, 
then you know the kind of prayer to pray. When you don't discover deep secret about your life, you will be praying wrong prayers. The devil will never want you to see or know anything about your life. He will never want you to see or know anything about the foundation of your, or your problem or affliction. He likes to be in, the, in dark. He likes to hide everything in dark. He likes to make people also to be in dark. He likes to keep people in darkness. That is the, that is the specialist, uh, that is uh, uh, the special area of the devil. He's, he's, he's a specialist in keeping people in darkness. You are the one that must spread light to come. We are the light of the world, the Bible says. And the Bible says, let there be light. Jesus is light. So therefore, when you command light to come and shine, all the darkness will disappear. We thank the Lord for what God has done. And I told you that I will give you 14. I'm going to give you the remaining seven now. And each of these prayers, you have to spend five minutes on each and pray them accurately. The water I have prayed on, you can use that water to wash your face. You wash your face and you, you start the prayer. See this water, you plead the blood of Jesus into that water, plead it about seven or 21 times, then use it to wash your face, or use the anointing oil a little. Just try to be connected, because the Lord is going to show you deeper, deeper revelations as we enter into it now. Wherever you are now, if you have either the water or the oil there, just put a little, a little on your, on your eye, just a little to touch your eye, a little, as we enter into this prayer. You pray this prayer with aggression and with power. Deep revelation is going to be revealed to you now. The Bible says something in Psalm 25 verse 4. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Wherever you are, I want you to confess your sin to the Lord. Whatever will not allow God to show you this secret you need to know. Confess it to the Lord. Because the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Talk to the Lord to have mercy on you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Daniel chapter 2 verse 22 says, He revealed the deep and secret things. So there are things that are deep. There are things that are secret. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. So light dwelleth with God. And it can reveal everything in darkness to us. Get ready as we pray now. These remaining seven prayers we are going to pray, they are very deep. And take them like that. Open your mouth and say this prayer with aggression. Say, Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, expose to me the strong man hiding in my root. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost. Take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, take me back to where things went wrong in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number three. Say, Holy Ghost, reveal to me the secret that will move my destiny forward. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, reveal to me the secret that will move my destiny forward. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, reveal to me the secret that will move my destiny forward. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, reveal to me the secret that will move my destiny forward. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the next one. Thank you, Father. This is number four. Say, my Father. Show me my personal mystery in the name of Jesus. My Father, show me my personal mystery in the name of Jesus. My Father, show me my personal mystery in the name of Jesus. My Father, show me my personal mystery in the name of Jesus. My Father, show me my personal mystery in Jesus' name we pray. This is the next one, number five. Say, oh God, my Father, 
Show me the secret of my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my life in the name of Jesus. Oh God, my Father, show me the secret of my life in Jesus' name. We pray. This is number six. Thank you, Father. Aha. Uh-huh. You will now pray this number six very well. Say, Holy Spirit, reveal to me everything I need to know about my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal to me everything I need to know about my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal to me everything I need to know about my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal to me everything I need to know about my life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, reveal to me, reveal to me, reveal to me in Jesus' name we pray. And now you now pray this last one. Say, my Father, Show me my original destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, show me my original destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, show me my original destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, show me my original destiny in the name of Jesus. My father, show me my original destiny in Jesus' name. We pray. You are praying that last one very well because there are powers that can reinvent people's life. There are power that can redesign people's destiny. There are power that can they can restructure. Remake people's destiny. You have to pray that God should show you the original destiny. Your destiny is what God has assigned you to do on earth. Your destiny is the blueprint of your life. It's the originality of your life. So you have to pray that God should show you that original destiny so that you will know what to do in life. You will know where to be in life. You will know what to do in life, what to say in life, and where to go. I pray that God will show you deep, deep secret as you pray this prayer aggressively and spend quality time on this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke in your life, yoke that is tying you down, shall be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke that is making your life difficult, every yoke that has refused to let you shine, that yoke shall be broken today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The yoke shall be broken. The yoke shall be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, this prayer I've given to you, I want you to pray this prayer very well. When you want to know deep secret about your life, you pray this kind of prayer. When you have situation that you have tried to address, you have tried to confront, but that situation has not changed, you have to pray this kind of prayer. When you notice that somebody is pregnant and is now two, three years, he has not been able to deliver, he has to pray this kind of prayer. When you notice that instead of you moving forward and you are not moving forward and you have tried everything possible, you have to pray this kind of prayer. It is very good that you pray this kind of prayer. When problems are deeply rooted, what you need is revelation. What you, what you need is secret. When problem has been attached to ancestral powers, what you need is revelation. What you need is deep, a deep secret. So pray that prayer very well and God will reveal deep, deep secret and you will come back to share testimony. When you have this secret and you can see them, then accurate prayer will be targeted and directed to that problem and there will be solution. Remember, God has solution to every problem. There is no problem in life that God cannot undo. And that is why you have to pray to understand what you are going through and so that we can knock it off using prayers. You can knock it off and cancel it through the power of prayer. May God give you testimony. May God give me testimony. All of us will be celebrated in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that this is month of perfection. It's our month. It's a month of celebration. God bless you in Jesus' name. I am praying for that woman. The yoke in your life is broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. That woman, hear me very well. The strong man that is standing at the gate of your womb has been buried now, and the power to conceive will fall upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty hand of God is falling upon 72 people, and I pray that every yoke in your life be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. That sister on the sick bed, rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Aha. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Beloved, uh, pray this prayer very well, and you will see what God will do. You can get back to us on this WhatsApp number, 080-233-692- 980-233-692-98. High Fellowship at Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry. Our international headquarters is at number 13, Olasimbo Street, Unique, Saboyaba, Lagos. It's at the back of University of Lagos, the second gate, and 10 minutes drive from Queen's College. Here, our Father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya, the General of our of Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministry, minister life with power and with special grace. A lot of testimony mighty deliverance god is still doing wonders also we have our churches all over the world 
our church here as they are all over the world. You can always get, you know, our church, uh, you know, closer to wherever you live. Just go there and ask for assistance. They will help you. They will pray with you. God bless you in Jesus' name. I remain your good friend. Pastor Emmanuel Akiola, God bless you.